Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Today, we're gonna to take you on a little driving tour from the top of Armu, all the way down to Paradise, downtown, Cato, Paphos Promenade and Harbour area. The girl in charge of the ship, Miss Ochin Grasivian Labu. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. Right, come on, Grasivi. Off we go in your fluted jacket. You're looking absolutely spectacular today, that's for sure. And we're on a spectacular day. Boxing Day special. Look at that. What a truly, truly spectacular view that's in the viewfinder. The sun is beaming down on Cyprus and it's cooking us yet again. The temperature is 24 and a half degrees. There we go. Unbelievable at this time of year. I'll check left, Grisivi, and you are clear. There we go. So we're now heading from Uptown Armu Village, and we're gonna go down towards the Konya Village, as they call it, and then drop down to the Limassol Roundabout. At that roundabout, we're gonna go straight over and start our descent down into Paradise, which of course is the Kato Paphos Promenade and Harbour area. And I'm pretty sure you can see the blueness of the sky and the blueness of that sea. It's absolutely spectacular. That sky is blue, that sea is blue, and dressed head to toe in blue. So all it's actually missing is... You! <laughs> <laughs> I was like a dog. Half! Of course you! I was, it was unexpected, believe it for me. Unexpected. Get on with the words. You! 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 Get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because we all are waiting just for you there we go in the end the words came out Arm! right <laughs> coming into the view find that now is a spectacular view as we drop just above keep your hands on the oh steering wheel proceed yellow Mr. booth she's laughing over there now Good. right there's a cyclist in front of us let's try not to run him over yeah. perhaps we'll just give him a nudge as we go past him but look at the blueness of that sea that's spectacular and if you're wondering what time of year well i gave the game away by telling you it was boxing day so well we're well into december the new year is a licking and a lapping at us so all this week we are in festive spirit and there'll be one or two more cocktail videos coming and we'll be raising a glass to one or two of our superstar family members that like to keep coming back we invite everyone who watches us if you do like what you see hit the like click subscribe come back and watch a bit more of our madness and please 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 comment don't be shy no one's gonna say a bad word to you if they do well receive the booth will bite them i'll make them off off there we go so this is now the start of konya village and over yonder is the metropolis of paphos and of course just out further is the blue blue mediterranean sea quite busy today Grisivi. so many new buildings are building on this street konya is massively being developed yes yeah, it is massively. it is massively changing yeah. i think at any one time in konya at the moment there's four to five hundred houses in process of being built and so no sooner is one built and sold and someone moves in they start building another one which i suppose is a good thing for the economy but it is drastically changing the outlook of Konya village. It is no longer a village, to be honest, it should be renamed as Konya city. But it's a great, great place because of course, it is literally two minutes from the Limassol roundabout, if you wanna to go to Limassol, or even further afield, to Larnaca or Nicosia. And of course, it's only a couple of minutes to drop down into Paphos itself, hence why we live just that little bit further up in Armu. It's very, very convenient for Paphos. So if you're looking for somewhere to live, yep, there's two more getting squeezed in there, if you want one of them. So if you are looking for that perfect place to live and you're gonna come and retire or work in Cyprus, in particularly in the Paphos area, Konya, Armu, Marathonda, well, they are very, very conveniently located it's quite a good fast road to get into Paphos and most of the things that you would need are on this side of Paphos from the Alpha Mega supermarket to the McDonald's fast food takeaway if, if your name is Miss Andrea and Mr. Mart. You've also got a KFC very close again that would suit them and many other people of course. So anything you want in Paphos is literally on your doorstep. You, see me? you know Paul, I, uh, I would like to say that uh 
the Cyprus is a little bit strange place to live. And why do I say so? I'll explain. Um, people here, many times they are queuing for McDonald's more than there are a other tavern that they really would would prefer to go but sometimes some days whatever it is and I have to walk out work it out why in some days is a queuing in in McDonald's especially McDonald's uptown more than the other uh, taverns or restaurants yeah it is a, have a, you ever understood why? it's a strange phenomenon but I'll try and explain it if I can as a child I lived in Egypt and in Egypt a, a wimpy franchise opened up and of course the local population had watched many many American movies and Wimpy was featuring the background as McDonald's and KFC and they were very much seen as a luxury brand. We understand in America and in the UK they're not, they're seen as a, a fast food outlet where you rush in quick and grab a not so tasty burger and a drink and off you go back to work or whatever it is or a place to take your children because they tend to have amusement arcades in them and they're very good at marketing to children. But when those brands then come into the likes of Egypt, Cyprus, Greece, Romania, Bulgaria, the price is actually still quite high in comparison to the actual salary. So therefore the only people that can go there, shall we say, are the slightly elevated classes. Hence, there is a massive queue often at McDonald's. I mean, in Cyprus, it's with the youth today. It's a bit of a status yeah, symbol possible. to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the reason for it. I mean, to be honest, McDonald's in the UK is very, very busy indeed as well. They have this image of fast food and they market it very, very well. And if ever anyone has enough money to buy the franchise, well, I'm pretty sure you're going to make your money back in the first year. Yeah, well, you explained. I think you explained. Well, that's how it was explained to me when I was a young lad in Egypt and I've been to a few countries and it's the same phenomenon that happens over again. And I'm not insulting Cyprus in what I say now. Cyprus has only really moved into the first worldish economies in the last 15 to 20 years. So McDonald's is still seen as a luxury brand. And talking of McDonald's, well, there it is. That's the uptown McDonald's. And as you can see, the car park is absolutely packed. And I understand it can be very fast. It can be... Um how fast food and very quick when the people are short of time they do it but but that's the irony of mcdonald's most people who go there these days one are not short of money and two are not short of time it's become more part of your life it's like addiction but it's an addiction something you do i mean talking about miss andrea and mr mark they go to mcdonald's once a week and they go to kfc once a week and they go to domino's once a week it's part of their lives. Domino pizza, you mean? Domino pizzas, yeah. yeah. It's a tradition. Uh, in the UK, lots of people go for fish and chips. They go for fish and chips on a Friday. On Friday. So McDonald's has come into that ecosystem, as has KFC, as has Domino's. Yeah. So people go to do it on those certain days, or perhaps on anniversaries, or perhaps on birthdays. That Where? Kind of thing. Where do they go? McDonald's, okay. and KFC, and Domino's. Mm -hmm. And then Domino's, again, is attached to football. So people tend to order pizzas and hang out with their friends and watch football. Yeah. So and, these and companies, Coca -Cola. yeah. So these companies are very clever at attaching themselves to things that people associate with them. If you this, understand. If me. we're talking about non-alcoholic drinkers. Yes, they don't serve alcoholic drinks. So this is the main Midtown roundabout. That's Toy Box over there. We're going to go straight over and continue on our descent down to the Cato Paphos Harbour, or as we call it, Paradise. If you'd gone left, you'd gone into Yoskipu, and if you'd gone right, you'd have gone into Midtown Paphos, past the Mayor's Office, Gumbara number one, and then you'd have gone into the wiggle and waggling streets of the Old Town, or you could have gone up to Uptown Paphos, Mosoi Avenue, etc, etc. So this area here now is just before we get to the Universal turn-off. So at the next traffic lights, if you were to turn right 
you would immediately enter the area known as Universal. So a big shout out to Ronnie Miller if you're watching. Merry Merry Christmas and we wish you a great great Hogmanay because obviously he's a Scottish gentleman and all of our Scottish viewers Mr. Doug, my cousin James and uh, his beautiful beautiful wife Karina and the daughter Miss Dally we wish you a wonderful wonderful Hogmanay because like in Graciela Booth's tradition the new year in Scotland is what it's all about Yeah. Christmas is not so important not so Hogmanay they call it Hogmanay. 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 And they'll raise a few glasses and they'll be having a haggis. It's like Hogminow. <laughs> yes. And they'll be eating haggis. Which ah, I'm not going to try to explain what it is. It used to be the Pampers, very. <laughs> she confused her English no. now. Haggis is like buy... a, I think it's like a skin of an animal, like a sausage skin, and then there's all sorts of mincemeat and yes, bits and bobs. Yes, in yes. It. it used to be the Pampers named Haggis. And I used to buy it for Ella. Right, there we go. So that'll bring you nice thoughts when you're using yeah. your haggis, Mr. James. There we go. Right. So to all our Scottish viewers, we wish you a very, 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 very happy and safe hog mine. We shall now continue on our trek down to Paradise, downtown Cato Paphos, Promenade and Harbour area. So stick with us. This is the tree-lined avenue. Many people know this road. Maggie Thompson, she has fond memories of this road when she used to pop along it to the Cato Paphos Harbour. Miss Dame Anne, she knows it. And of course, many other people do as well. As I said, Ronnie Miller, I've just mentioned, you will literally come into the rear end of his apartment complex now on the right-hand side. So he obviously knows this road. And of course, many, many other people do as well. There's the Petrolina petrol station. If you're curious to know the price of benzene, 147 and 161 for diesel. So in plain English, that's around about 135 a litre for petrol and around about 150 for diesel. So we're slightly cheaper than the UK. But again, as I've mentioned before, don't forget the salaries here are, well, should we say quite a lot lower than UK salaries, contrary to what the Cypriot government nothing likes to tell to the do world. With, yes, yes, nothing to do with it. The other day I was reading about the information that they give that the mid-class uh, worker gets about 1,006 or 700 euros. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? And you know, it's a lie. It's not true. It's just not true. No, it's not true. But governments are very good at coming up with statistics and figures that uh, they think will please the world. Anyway, that's a rant about Cyprus. It's the same in many other countries as well. There's no such thing as a minimum wage in Cyprus, although they've brought it in. But of course, what they forgot to do was to actually legislate how many hours the person has to work for that minimum wage. So the minimum wage apparently now is 990 euros, but they forgot to legislate that you should only work 37 and a half hours. So of course, in order to earn your 990, well, most employers are gonna make you work about a thousand hours a week. Anyway, that's the rant over and done with. The only places to actually have a job in Cyprus, to be honest, are local government, banks, or, well, start your own business, keep your fingers crossed, and hope for the best. Anyway, here we are. We're in paradise. A lot of people who've been on holiday to Cyprus understand exactly where we are. A Vancey Hotel is on our left-hand side. Tony Nancaro and uh, Miss Wendy, that's where they like to hang out. This is the area known as the Triangle. And of course, in front of us, that is the Olympic Lagoon. That's where Miss Ellie is finally going to get to holiday in around about April. And she comes over with Nigel Big Guns and oh, 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 so, 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 so sweet, Caroline. So this is Pasadonis Avenue, Hotels Avenue as we call it. You've got the Ampera Resort. Amphora. Amphora, okay. Mm -hmm. My pronunciation is a bit... Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot of traffic around. There's a lot of people come out, perhaps, for the Boxing Day walk. Yes. Yes. This is the car park now to the Anthesia Beach Bar. We'll pull into there. And we'll go and climb the snake, and we'll give you that spectacular view across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. So stick with us. There's a great, great view coming up very, very shortly. And I 
as usual, we want to be as close as possible because we're becoming very lazy. Well, it's a tradition in Cyprus. If there's a shop that you want to go into, well, you park outside it. And if you can't park outside it, well, you don't go in that shop. Let's go for the dismount, that's for sure. Let's go and get a look at Cecilia La Booth and let's just see how beautiful she is actually looking today. Here she comes. You might even get a twirl and a pirouette. There we go. Fluted leather jacket, fluted leather pants, and a beauty beyond all beauty. Right, come on, Cecilia La Booth. Let's go and have a walk up the snake and show you the beauty and the spectacality of this beautiful blue blue Mediterranean Sea today. It's going to take your breath away. It's spectacular. So stick with us. Here we go. Look at that. It really, really doesn't get much better. There's quite a few people swimming with the yellow boot. And there's a big bird coming into downtown Kedapapos, bringing two to 50 wonderful, wonderful people into paradise. And we're gonna have a spectacular holiday, that's for sure. Stick with us. We're gonna go follow the rear end of watching we see the yellow boot and see what she has got to say. Probably to stop them getting blown over or to stop them getting stolen. Anyway, it's, it's that time, Gracie Yellow Boot. It's not Yalabu. difficult to cut if you want, but we wouldn't. I would like to tell you many, many thanks for watching our lovely drive. I did enjoy it and I hope you did too. We're loving you to meet. And don't forget to come and see another of our madnesses. All that's left me to say is thanks for watching. And of course, if you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe. And please come back for a little bit more of our madness. We're going to leave you with a great view. Feast your eyes and digest. Here we go. Thanks for watching.